Hey guys, what's going on? There's been a lot of talk lately that H Hour is not compatible with controllers and that people won't pick up H Hour because it's on PC and it's not on console. Well, today I want to show you that if you simply purchase a PS4 controller and a uh, what is it called? A, a program called Input Mapper. You can literally match the bindings of SOCOM 2 controller right on to H Hour with a PS4 controller, and it gives you no disadvantage against people with mouse and keyboard. So I will show you that today. All right, now that you have your PS4 controller, you're going to go to InputMapper.com. Once you get there, you're going to click Downloads, and you're going to want to click this Input Mapper right here do not click input mapper 2.0 so once you click it you're gonna wanna download the first one here 1.5.31 download it and download it to wherever you choose to put it and then once it's downloaded you're gonna go ahead and open it and it should detect your controller but if not I know there's a way to um, find it and it should find it really simply just somewhere in the settings here so once you get that you're gonna go to profiles and you're gonna create a new profile and you're gonna call it whatever you want I called it H hour um, and it shows pretty much everything that is available on your controller and then you can go to configuration and mess with your colors and all your look speeds and stuff like that but you're gonna wanna go to access tuning and then for your right stick you're gonna mess with the sensitivity because in H hour itself it doesn't allow you to mess with the right stick for the sensitivity like your look around and stuff so you have to do it here I set mine to 115 but you can put it wherever you please so once you get all that done you hit save and then you go back home and it tells you that you're activated you're gonna open up H hour okay so once you're in H hour, you're going to go to options and then you are going to go to input and then you're going to see your bindings for either the keyboard or controller. There's no way of saying I want to use just keyboard mouse or controller. They're both activated at all times. So on controller side, you're going to want to just copy all my settings here. Just I'm gonna just go down and just you can pause the screen or the video when you're watching this. I don't want to take too much time. So all those settings there are gonna be just like SOCOM one, SOCOM two, SOCOM three, SOCOM whatever SOCOMs they make. Cause I didn't play after SOCOM two. You see here on controller settings, it doesn't say vibration or inver look. Or sensitive you can't touch any of this but vibration is there the full vibration if a you get shot at you're gonna feel it if a grenade blows up by you you're gonna feel it but the sensitivity is not there so that's what I mean back in the input mapper you have to adjust it there okay so here we are I'm in full PS4 controller this is not mouse and keyboard so I flow pretty well almost identically to SOCOM 2. I still play X-Link on SOCOM 2 sometimes. Maybe once or twice a week and I get on this with the controller and it feels just like it. It's, it's crazy. Now if someone's behind you I know the look speed's a little slow. Yeah someone with mouse keyboard can turn around faster but with the pad on PS4 controller you can simply just run and just take your thumb and just swipe and just now you're looking behind you and then you can just aim like you know you can look so quick but in that scenario you know you're gonna have to die if he's from behind you so to switch weapons you just left trigger goes back and forth the left triggers either you go forward or back to throw a grenade it's a little weird because when you hit right trigger it only shows the arc being like that. So what you gotta do is hit the uh, right shoulder button, and it gives you your cho like choice of how far you want to throw your grenades. So like right there would be the furthest, which is normally what you're always gonna use. 
I mean, yeah, it doesn't have like that nice flow arc, but if you just slowly press that button, it gives you that option to adjust. So if you're running a gun and you see a guy at a certain distance, you can just simply just kind of load it and then throw. And then switch back to your primary. Now, to crouch is pretty easy compared to mouse keyboard. I find it hard on mouse keyboard for me to go to crouch really quick. So if I'm running over here on mouse keyboard, I wouldn't be able to just simply just go like this. Because, like, I, I'm not good with my, my hands on the keyboard. Like, some people are. And then to, like go to prawn really quick like I can't do it well on the keyboard but with the mouse controller it's almost like SOCOM 2 where it doesn't in this game doesn't have dive to prawn so that's a little little you know not like SOCOM but you know maybe they'll have it one day so I mean everything else is like pretty much just spot on I mean, you really can't complain it's just like console so I really hope people can get on and and try it out I mean it's really worth it and you can jump with the square button talk with the uh, circle button and then if there was a door here you can just hit X but these are user made maps by the community so they don't have any doors but like the actual H hour maps they have doors and you can open and close with X you can walk up to a dead body either dance on it pick up their weapons with X so all the functions are there if you want to zoom in with the arrow keys to go to first person or to zoom um, the sensitivity is pretty high with controller, but if you just slowly roll your thumb, you're fine. You just have to adjust. And then to lean, I mean, it's just it's just like so calm. Like a mouse keyboard, I can't come up to this wall and just be like, now I'm going to lean. I just can't. With controller, you have that advantage over people that, that are using mouse keyboard. So if you feel mouse keyboard is going to have advantage over you, it you got to think differently because I feel like I can hold my own with this controller just as well as anyone using mouse keyboard so if you got the money and you already have the PC go and get yourself a PS4 controller input map is free get on H hour and give it a try because you shouldn't bash it saying that all because it's not on PS4 it's it's not like SOCOM because in reality all you do is hook up this controller and it's just like SOCOM so I appreciate you guys watching this and thanks for your time and hopefully we see you on there